Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a detailed look and review of the South Beach LeBron 12s. Uh, just kidding. You guys uh, know, obviously, the Christmas LeBron 12s. And uh, I have the other South Beach kind of esque colorways, and I just wanted to bring them out for comparative purposes. For the color schemes, if you guys are curious, I do not have the LeBron 8s. I know the, the ones that everybody loves, they don't have those ones. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. But uh, but I have the other ones and the Nike ID one kind of, to, it, it, it's kind of the closest color to these um, Akron, like birch or whatever, Akron, Akron birch, Akron birches. I don't know really what the theme is from. Um, I know that's the name of it. I don't understand why you guys can leave comments, you smart people out there that love the stories because I like stories too. But this one to me just was like, what? I don't get it. And because of that, I'm not going to pay attention. That happens. That happens to you guys in school. I, if you guys are in school, I guarantee that it happens. That happens to me too. And I was like, Akron Birch, it's freaking Christmas shoe. Like, I see the snowflake. I get that correlation. I don't get this. What I do get, though, is the colorway looks dope. And and some people are going to disagree. Some people will agree. But I think all in all, the colorway is super sick. I love that the sole is kind of that ice blue and then has black pods. Then the little shank plate right here has a little um, pink in it. And then... You can see the the uh, paint splatter on the black midsole. I thought that was kind of cool. But this print is dope. And it gives me like hope that there's going to be some really dope prints of the LeBron 12s coming uh, towards 2015. I also like the nice uh, pink liner on the inside of here. I thought that was pretty rad. And I don't know. just It's one of those sneakers like you love it or hate it. And it's one of the that I actually really like. Um, it wasn't one that sold out. If you guys are interested in purchasing, I'll put a link in the description online and you guys can check it out yourself uh i actually wanted these ones most and then uh probably the kobe's and then the kd's but i ended up getting the again the kobe's gifted from champ sports thank you to them um which changed my viewpoint literally on the kobe 9 elites like in the high top versions but uh but the, these lebron 12s i ended up getting them from the employee store so it was like a perfect deal for me and i was like an absolute like cop for me they're a little bit big they're a size 10 I'm usually a 9.5 but the 10 will work I'll just wear thick winter socks, apparently. Uh, but uh, but all in all, I like really, really dig the model. I dig the colorway. The, the detailings on the sneaker are nice. Um, just if you want an up-close look at the colors between these two, they're definitely different. So I know that there's going to be some South Beach comparisons to the colorway. Obviously, Bron out of South Beach, it's not really relevant anymore. So maybe they're like, hey, well, we we're going to do that. But since he moved, let's go ahead and do this. I mean, that's really where I'm thinking, like, Maybe they like they're like, well, we have to have a Christmas shoe, damn it, and and then the South Beach colorway is like gone because he left, and so let's use the leftover of that and wrap something different over top of it and call it like the Christmas shoe. So that's that's honestly the vibe I get. I don't know what the real story is behind that. I also have the the last year's Christmas Kobe's in the backdrop there for some reason, no idea why. Christmas theme. I think that was the original direction of this video that I was going for is the Christmas theme. How do you guys actually feel about that? Do you guys feel it's played out? Do you guys like it? Do you look forward to it? It's personally like I have 20 plus pairs of LeBron 11s. I don't have the Christmas LeBrons last year. I didn't really like them. Uh, the green and, and stuff I didn't really like. But then as soon as I was doing the 12 bars of Christmas, another dude that I, that I know was wearing the LeBron uh, 11 Christmas. And I was like, damn, those are fresh on feet. And it's like the perfect day because it's like a bar crawl. And it's like it makes perfect sense. And he was wearing those. And I was like, dude, I should I totally should have had those. But so do I think... Christmas theme sneakers are played out. No, I think that they just need to be done a little bit more creatively. I don't don't think that this pack in general like vibed together. Like the KD, uh, the KDs sevens looked like candy canes, but they were calling them the eggnogs. These um, Kobe like nines looked like candy canes, and they call them the, the knit stockings. Which the fly knit on them, knit stockings. Okay, I get that one. I'll give them that that one. That makes sense. Uh, but. And last year's theme pack was was okay, like kind of meshed together. I just feel like they need to just drop the concept in general or just fully commit to it. Um, fully commit to it like the ugly Christmas sweaters. Those things are the best like Christmas holiday sneakers in my opinion. And, and what I actually said on Twitter and, and out, out there was that they should actually, like Nike SB should do a different collab with different people. And I didn't say this, but this is what me thinking on the fly. They should do a different Christmas, ugly Christmas sweater theme um nike dunk and have different collabs from different stores every one like a new store every single year and then making an annual release where like they release one ugly christmas sweater and maybe do two of them like what concepts did 
different colors, but overall print being the same, I think that'd be just insanely dope. Like they could do so many dope, dope things with that. And it's confined to like the canvas and like the idea of the theme. And I think that it's one that people would go, yes, it's that time of year. I can't wait to see what this year's uh, ugly Christmas sweater design is going to look like. Like, I think we have that feeling for the the uh, the Nike basketball pack, but when we see it, it's just underwhelming sometimes. Um, and especially for the price point, when you're paying $200 plus for a pair of sneakers nowadays, you really want to make sure that it's a firm investment and something you can wear um, outside of just Christmas time, I guess, unless you're like a serious like collector like myself where I'm like, these ones are going to be just for Christmas. But I do have to say on a final closing note, and I'll put an on-foot section right here, um, but on, on a closing note, I, I will say that the colors of these ones, again, being the South Beach kind of-esque colorway, it, it's a little bit better in a sense, and it has that weird tree-like pattern, which again, really, I don't understand that concept. You can leave a comment, let me know in the comment section, and let other people know, thumbs it up, if you, you guys see like a comment that explains it better. Um, but like, it doesn't really make any sense. It looks cool to me though, and it's a pair that even though it has a snowflake on like the tongue, it's a pair that I can actually see myself wearing outside of the Christmas season. It just, it just looks kind of nice to me. Um, but that being said, like the, the Christmas, the, the Christmas Kobe's, I just don't see myself wearing those outside of the Christmas season. I, I mean, maybe they, they don't have anything specific on them that are Christmas esque, except for the little see like mama greetings on the inside. So I guess I could wear them like anytime. Um, but it's definitely the kind of more of a winter shoe. I don't know about summertime with those, if I'll be wearing those in the summer. Um, but, uh, that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. Christmas uh, shoes played out. Any suggestions or ideas that you guys have? Leave some uh, some comments. And then, what do you think about my South Beach pack here? Without that, the most essential South Beaches there are. I, I feel I feel a little bit um, empty inside that I don't have those ones. Um, but anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, give the video a thumbs up if you guys feel the need. Otherwise, um, uh, high fives and thanks for watching the entire video. If you did, we'll catch you guys for some more videos later. Peace, guys. Thank <laughs> you.